Welcome back to Commander Shepard's favorite podcast on the Citadel. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, Commander Elijah to you. Oh, snap. First human specter ever mm-hmm. to exist. Sitting across from me virtually is my one-handed gentleman, Alex. So I didn't hear the intro grow off. I didn't do the intro this time. Okay. I mean, we're going to keep going really, anyways. Yeah, this. It's, it's <laughs> cool. I was working earlier. Nothing ever works. It's it tech. You know yeah, you got to love it. Tech, got to love it. If for audio people, I have the N7 mask on. This is to celebrate, of course, Mass Effect is out. Mm-hmm. We have mm-hmm. played Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, by the way, this is the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. Come to you every single Friday. <laughs> but it's one of those days, that. man. I want to talk about Mass Effect. Yes. Alex? Hmm. You played Mass Effect One. Yes, you I did. Mass Effect Two. Yes, I you did. Both finished Mass Effect One. You have finished Mass Effect Two. I yes, will be I finishing it tonight. But first, what I want to tell everyone while wearing the Commander Shepard helmet, I want to tell everyone what this is. So this is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We come to you every single Friday with sometimes an N seven helmet, sometimes we don't. You, come you sound here, surprisingly you very game well. Games that you and me and Alex think you should know. There's a couple ways to support us. I'm going to keep it quick this week. One, freeway. You already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Second, patreon.com slash Achievers. You know what Patreon is. So if you want to give us money, go there. Now, I'm done talking about all that. I want to talk about Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Alex, hmm. tell me what you think about it. Oh, dude, it's great. Um, but so far, like the remaster, like I feel like it's done its justice. Um, the the textures are pretty good. Like you, the the colors, the color schemes are, are so far have been better. It's not everything's not as uh, like washed out as like the first game was. This one just seems a lot more clear. The uh, the actual the the noises of the guns actually sound a little better. You know, everything so far, it's been great. Alex, very hmm. quickly, yes. Um, oh, uh, of course, tam- time stamps below, as always, if you want to mm-hmm. skip anything that you talk about, if you want to play the Mass Effect Legendary Edition without anyone's commentary about it. But first, Alex, really mm-hmm. quickly, this is going to be kind of a very quick review for people who may or may not be thinking about buying it. What is your mm-hmm. quick one sentence history with Mass Effect? If you love Mass Effect, buy it. I agree. Now, I will say that... If you are interested in Mass Effect 1, this is the best way of playing it. I will say that again. This is the best way to play Mass Effect 1. The 2007 version is, in my opinion, still great, of course. Still important. It it holds holds a close part to our hearts. Of course. course. But this is the easiest way to play it. Now, Mm -hmm. that being said, this is still Mass Effect 1. So if you have played it before and probably didn't like it, if you know you like two and three, you can still skip one. Um, I know some people don't like it. I know some people think it's slow or it doesn't feel too great. There's a lot of improvements they made to certain things like combat, squad enhancements, things like uh, the just like just the way the guns sound. Alex said that earlier, but mm-hmm. like every single gun sounds different. It's it it it's it's a, it sounds like a little thing but it makes you it, it makes, makes a the difference experience, it, it does make an experience yes way 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 better mm-hmm. like you and i were talking about like i was like oh i when uh you know when you shoot the gun in one it feels like it's so washed out with the like it just goes yeah when it, it sounds like and it, and it just sounds so weird this one like they sharpened it it looks better mm-hmm. so good um but uh, I I can't recommend it more. We we are diehard Mass Effect fans. Mm-hmm. I've played it since the launch. I've played them uh, numerous times. I'm I'm what you would call a super fan. So I've, I've played them a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Hit us up on Twitter if you have any other further questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, and our ideas about Mass Effect Legendary. Because we'll be happy to tell you all about the game. But don't worry if you want to talk about the story. Mm, don't worry. We're gonna make a spoiler cast now. It's a little weird. This is a 2007 game, like we've said, but me and Alex just want to talk about Mass Effect, and we've bounced around ideas. Let us know in the comments or tweet at us what you'd prefer, but what we eventually came to a consensus is it's probably best just to have Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 separate videos for spoiler cast. so if you beat one and just want to hear one, you can go there. If you want to just hear two, you can find the two. If you just want to hear three and three, so that's probably how we're going to do it. 
that unfortunately is going to, of course, based on how fast we can beat these games. So mm-hmm. we cannot, of course. I mean, um, I'm on three already. Yeah, Alex is already on three. So, so if I can get fit two finished today, hopefully, perfect, perfect scenario tomorrow. Me and Alex sit down. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect one spoiler cast that go that would go live Sunday. Mass Effect mm-hmm. two spoiler cast probably would have to wait till at least a Tuesday or Wednesday, <clears throat> and that means it goes live to you guys Wednesday or Thursday. So just keep on track with the Easy Achievers YouTube page and podcast <laughs> service of choice. To get all the Mass Effect goodness for the next week. It's going to be like Mass Effect month. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. Alex. Yes. Any lasting thoughts? I mean, it's, it's, I'm just. Well, what's, worth what's, $60. Uh, what's, what's the saying? Uh, I'm, oh God, what, what's the movies are from? It's like, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I forget what that's from, but I know oh, exactly what yeah, you mean. Right? I'm having a great time. If I told mm-hmm. her, if I asked my wife, she'd probably know. Mm-hmm. Alex. Hmm. is it worth my time this is a segment every week we do some quick fire Mm -hmm. news things that we think we don't really have too much to talk about so we want to very quickly get it through to you and to your ears and if you want some more about it you can hit us up on patreon.com and we can add a question to the show alex bethesda Hmm. starfield is essentially confirmed as an exclusive for xbox and pc will not release for ps5 now i don't think this is and and this is a new story because i don't think it's a much of a surprise in my opinion to most people oh no for sure uh if you're listening to the achievers we've already talked about this we've already discussed we me and alex both agreed that starfield is i think in my opinion the as soon as they got that acquisition yeah yeah for sure i think that's the the biggest question is is elder scrolls 6 are they gonna make people buy an xbox to play elder scrolls 6 that's the only thing i'm i i have any question about Mm -hmm. i think no i think it's gonna be exclusive could you think could they do a uh time one like a time exclusive like for like a year or a couple months or something or no, sorry. I mean, they or, could. Or, or, they own or it, even, or even, or even a month. You get the game a month early, even because what didn't doesn't Call of Duty do that with like with PlayStation? Uh, no, not the whole game. Not the game, I guess. But like, well, what is it? Because like it wasn't on. Yeah, it's I guess like a mode they got mode. for a year. I don't think that would happen. I think it's either exclusive or it's not. Mm-hmm. I think, and very quickly, Phil Spencer loves doing this thing where when he's asked a question, he immediately says this kind of answer. Mm-hmm. Which is super annoying. So when he's asked any anything, it's like, will Bethesda games or any game, Elder Scrolls, whatever game, his answer is always, they're very excited to see these games launch where Game Pass is. Now that is very clear mm. that they want Game Pass on PlayStation. Who I don't, I know that sounds like a wild accusation. Everyone's mm. already clicked off the YouTube because they're like these hacks believe anything. But I'm serious. They, if they could, they would put Game Pass on PlayStation. Period. That is a fact. That is true. I mm-hmm. know lots of people who've talked about this. This is true. So yeah, for sure. It's had talks. They had they and they had that <clears throat> like they even talked about apparently Master Chief Collection going to the PlayStation at one point. Like like you want to get even crazier? Like they've talked about that. So all options are on the table, Alex. Hmm. Another another quick fire that I don't really care about. Starting June fifteenth, eBay's new adult items policy will go into place, banning the sale of quote sexually explicit video games with a rating of adults only, eighteen plus, among other adult oriented media. Hmm. My exact reaction, like, uh, okay, they'll just if they want to sell it, they'll just go somewhere else. There's yeah. plenty of other sites that you can sell stuff like this. So it's kind of lame that eBay is doing this. Like, really, who cares? Why don't you just block it behind something to where you have to m- maybe put in a credit card to ensure you're an adult and then mm-hmm. have to buy the game? But I don't really care. I don't have enough wind in my sails to even get upset about this. Mm-hmm. Alex. Yeah, I don't care. Alex, you don't care? Mm-mm, you're going to buy your adult games somewhere else, right? Just like me? I mean, digital? I mean- <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, hey, look, look. All right. We all get our black bags somewhere, okay? Whether it be from an Amazon or or, Look, it's, or it's off of people, eBay. People who who buy adult adult games through eBay are the people who pay for porn. 
I mean, I have a feeling Alex, you are I'm one of those it. people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alex is like, you fucking sucker. Uh, WB Games being broken up. Now, this is our first major news story. Now, this is huge. Uh, and I'm very curious what Alex thinks about this. And I want to know what you guys think about this, too. So comment below what you think. WB Games being broken up in a new merger between Warner Brothers and Discovery. So the details of, of, uh, of this merger are still kind of fresh. We still don't know fully what's going to happen. But essentially, both Discover and Warner Media are going to merge to form a new company with AT&T spinning off as a media brand. AT&T will receive $43 billion in cash debt securities and Warner Media's retention of debt with Discovery CEO David Zaslov leading the new company. This was first released by IGN's Julia Alexander, who confirmed that this new sale merger does include some of WB Games, but not all of the studios and its properties. Um, a ATT representative told Axios Steven Totillo, which Axio, that's a new name we've said. I don't think Axio. we've ever had Axio in here. That's, that's a, something I... I believe that's a, a very big political site. Um, I believe so. I have, I've heard of Axios as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, if you want to double check on me, I'd appreciate that. Um, and they said uh, they gave the they gave the Axios this quote, quote, some of the gaming arm will stay with AT&T and some will go with the new company, end quote. Very interesting. Now, we got a couple little things um, scattered about, talked about. So someone, I think that was inside of the uh, of the dealings and hearing murmurs. Um, did give us two statements. This was off of Twitter, um, which I did not grab their tweet name. I apologize. I forgot about that. But um, uh, again, this includes some of WB Interactive, but not all of it. So it's, it's just it's random. Um, the sale does include DC Comics. So Discover now owns DC Comics. So I believe that is that is separate from the movie, though, just to be clear really quickly. I know this has nothing to do with video games, but. That is separate from like the the video games. This is like I believe this is DC Comics as like a comic publishing brand. <clears throat> and then I just thought it was interesting. Rooster Teeth is also part of the sale, which is kind of interesting. I think they were a part of Discovery. I think um, I don't remember to be honest. But Alex, hmm. this is a big deal. I mean, we're we're seeing a big player in WB kind yeah. of being scattered to the wind. And it can happen in so many different ways, I think. They can keep the crazy studios, right? They could sell some of these studios off to some people, like to PlayStation, to Xbox, to Ubisoft. They can they can hoard all the studios. They can lay them all off, which would be stupid, but that probably won't happen. But they could just lay off a bunch of people. They could close some of these studios. Like, really, we're on the precipice of, like, anything could happen. Now, I assume... Yeah. There's fine print in this deal that would specifically mention some of this stuff. So I do not think most of these people are worried about layoffs. I say hopefully. Um, And I'm just going to remind everyone what studios we're talking about. So Avalanche Software, Monolith Productions, NetherRealm Studios, Portkey Games, Rocksteady Studios, TT Games, WB Games, Boston, Montreal, New York, San Diego, San Francisco. Alex, I just told a lot to you. That's a lot of I told people. You, I told you a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty clear which ones they kept. <laughs> I, I, this is not to be mean mm-hmm. to anyone else, but I'm pretty sure they kept uh, Nether Realm, Mortal Kombat. I mean, Mortal Kombat. They probably kept that. Mm-hmm. TT Games. I wouldn't be surprised. Lego makes them a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And they they probably kept Rock City Games, and they probably uh, kept WB Montreal. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they literally let everyone else go. Yeah, we haven't seen anything out out of Monolith in a good while. I think they were making some. They made, of course, the Middle Earth games. Didn't they have to go make like some <clears throat> mobile games? I don't. Remember. I don't. I don't remember. Either. I know port. I know they're keeping port key because that's the people who do all the Harry Potter games, and they're doing Harry Potter Legacy. That's that's, that's interesting too. Like you have to assume. Portkey and Rocksteady are are fine. Period. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. They have a in developed game that they want to make money on because they've already synced money into it. Mm-hmm. So that that has to be safe. 
Nether Realm. I mean, it, it would be preposterous for them to get rid of that. Like, it, like it just wouldn't make any sense. So I cannot see them getting rid of that. And TT Games is another thing where like they have Lego Star Wars collection coming out soon. So I could see them like being like, no, we want to make money off that too. So let's just keep them for a while, and then who cares afterwards? But I think everyone else might might be gone or might be being sold off to other companies. You know, being Xbox, uh, PlayStation. I mean, I think I think the studios we named off are the quote unquote smarter options mm-hmm. um, again not to be mean these are people's jobs that it's weird because they have to keep avalanche because avalanche is part of porky game or they're like they're working on the hogwarts games together yeah and that they we get into gray areas like that now no yeah. they, don't, they don't they don't have to you know what i'm saying like, i mean just, the name is on the thing already you can just so and mm-hmm. then, i don't i don't know this is very interesting don't don't worry if you're we'll looking into this very closely very closely Alex, you have any lasting thoughts with this? Uh, I just, it's crazy to me, uh, like what they're going to do with this. Cause even uh, with the whole Axios thing, yeah, like that is a, uh, just a news site. Cause I thought I saw this like, you know, political, but then they also have like local news and now they have gaming news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, so it's just crazy. I've never heard of them. Yeah. Yeah. That I, I think they're popular. I, I don't, I don't uh, freak with the site, so I, mm-hmm. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty popular. I've heard of Axios over there. Oh, that's mm-hmm. So it's very interesting, and and it is funny you do bring that up. I, it it the, one of the most interesting parts of this <clears throat> is that Axios is is having this conversation too because that is a n- new player in the game, which would mm-hmm. be really cool. I am always for more people uh, reporting games. Always oh, for sure. Games. Yeah. These are a couple very quick things I want to uh, uh, go over very quickly. Coalition did announce that uh, they're moving to Unreal Five. And mm-hmm. that they're going to do a next gen focus game. So I think we I mean, can read. Coalition really... did Gears, didn't they? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what I was saying is, I think they're confirming, like, hey, we're going to Unreal 5, and the next Gears is going to be just probably for Series X. That's how mm-hmm. I read it. Um, uh, uh, another thing about the P- PS5, and uh, it was very quick that it came up. People are saying it's still going to be a short supply by next year. It, it definitely will be. I, yeah, no, for sure. no shock, I think, to anybody. But. Remember how they said that they were going to have pl- they were going to have enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I guess I don't know if they. I, I mean, they have internal people doing data and stuff for them, right? They, I mean, they have people like I mean, doing doing data and like finding interest. Like, how many units do we need for like a quote unquote successful launch day? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm very curious. If they knew, and they, I think they, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that they knew, but I wonder if they knew how, how bad demand was going to, like how bad demand was going to over, overcome supply. Cause it's by a large amount. I mean, cause they've mm-hmm. sold it's like 8 million units already, I believe. Cause they sold like 4 million to begin with and they sold 3 million till March. And so they're already at 8 million units, I believe. Uh, Alex is confirming. S- Sony confirms that f- when when was this? Because it says four point five million PS5 consoles have been was, sold so far. That was at launch. That was that at launch. Okay, I believe. Was, so. Oh, there we go. Uh, April twenty eighth. So oh, oh, about a month ago, it was at seven point eight million. Yeah, so they've hit eight million. Oh yeah, they, yeah, so, for sure. So they've hit eight million. That's a lot of units, especially mm. this quickly. I'm very curious what their internal numbers shown and i'm sure they knew they were not going to be able to hit demand now i'm very curious how fast they can get these new ps5s out Mm -hmm. and if you don't know what we're talking about easy achievers episode 80 will fill you in but essentially they're trying to get a new chipset um in that replaces the part that they're finding so hard to get very curious of course that will go um alex according to herman holst According to Herman Holst, that's head of PlayStation Studios, for everyone who doesn't know, a Gorilla co-founder whom Jim Ryan tapped to lead uh, PlayStation Studios, the group has more than 25 titles in development for the PS5, nearly half of which are new IP. That's a very sidebar story. They gave a, uh, I think, Wired again. I think they just keep talking to Wired every time. But they talked to the Wired, and they were asked, like, you know, how's it? There was a bunch of questions, so you could uh, look this up, Achievers, if you want to know a whole interview. I did not find much interesting in it, to be fair. I don't, I'm not a fan of the marketing speech that these guys have to say. So I just mm-hmm. picked out the one interesting thing, and this was it. Um, 
nearly half of which is uh, our new IP, and then there's 25 titles. That's not a small number. I'm very excited. Yeah. To see what even half of these are like, 25 titles. That that is that's it's a good bit. That is a good bit, and that's half a lot of them of are money. new. That's, that's a lot of money that I gotta spend. <laughs> I love you, Alex. <laughs> Multiple projects are built um, on Unreal Five. Uh, I think I messed this up actually. Um, we can skip all that. I apologize, Achievers. I wasted your time there. Mm. <sighs> Shut up, Alex. Shut up. Epic Games has been tabled to deal with a minimum guarantee of $200 million for Sony to port four to six of its first-party exclusive to the Epic Game Store. As part of an internal mem- memo dated September 2020, this was published on Reset Era as part of the ongoing court battle between the Unreal Engine Maker and Apple. So as a reminder, they had the uh, uh, Epic Games sued Apple because they wanted to um, eliminate the cut from the uh app store Mm -hmm. that's the reason they're suing them that's not the real reason um they want to make a another app store on apple uh is what the actual reason is but that's beside the point uh i think it's very interesting alex Mm -hmm. that they they epic games wanted to make a 200 million dollar deal so uh follow me with this one to port four to six of its first party exclusives to Epic Game Store, to, so it's exclusive. Not only did PlayStation say no, they they continued with their two hundred million dollar deal to buy um, a partial stake in Epic. Alex, as a reminder, just in case you forgot, mm-hmm. PlayStation is a is a minority stakeholder in Epic Games. Very small stake. I think it's like less than ten percent, almost. I think it's like eight ish percent okay. um, uh tim sweeney owns 51 percent, which is the founder and tencent owns like 48 percent or some some wild number uh which is a giant conglomerate chinese company and playstation came to them and was like hey we want to we want to buy 200 million dollars <laughs> worth of your stock essentially like as a part of a deal mm-hmm. and epic was like well that's a good idea how about instead you still get the two hundred million dollars, um, but we'll pay you that money to port six year, four to six year games to our platform. PlayStation said, "Fuck you, no, we want two hundred million dollars of your stake," <laughs> and just and just like went no. That's so crazy. They mm-hmm. said no to two hundred million dollars of free money, and then like and then the also the added cut. Of four to four to six uh, exclusives on their platform. Very interesting. I wonder why. Did you um, see? Speaking of Apple and Epic, did you see that um, uh, they're accusing uh, Epic of serving as a stalking horse for Microsoft? Huh. Yeah. So, what? What did? What in specific did they mean by that? So he, he, let's see. Uh, a stalking horse. Interesting. Yeah. So Apple claims that Microsoft did shielded itself from the meaningful discovery by having Wright testify in a personal capacity. Oh, uh, here was oh, it. Oh, so they're so they're saying like the same thing applies to them. Mm-hmm. With yeah. the like discovery thing on their platform is what they're arguing. I think. Yeah, this is now they're bringing like now they're bringing Microsoft into this. It says right here toward the end of the motion, Apple accuses Microsoft of potentially using Epic as a proxy plaintiff in in litigation that you to, that. It refuses to prosecute in its own name. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they, I I don't. I mean, I don't disagree because because I think what they're if you know all the listeners that are like, what did Alex just say to me? Mm-hmm. He's essentially saying Microsoft is capitalizing off of this court battle by saying a bunch of stuff but not being involved in the actual mm. court. So they're not a plaintiff or a. Act, they're not being accused in the actual battle of the uh, two companies. They're just like on the sidelines, like like the hype man for Epic. Like, yeah, Apple did this too. You know, essentially the hype man for Epic Games. And Apple, I did, I'm sure, does not like that because that uh, that is hurting their case. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Alex, I want to hmm. talk about VR. Oh, VR. My now, favorite. I'm just joking. 
Sony's next generation VR headset for PS5 has a much higher resolution, inside out tracking, a vibration motor, e, uh, faux vetted rendering. Um, and this is all from Upload VR, by the way. Uh, no one knows what the actual name of the product is, but uh, a lot of sources have uh, gone around the thing, but this is specifically from Upload VR. Uh, that the resolution is going to be 4,000 by 2040 pixels, which breaks down to 2,000 by 2040 per eye, and a lens separation adjustment dial and gaze tracking capable capable of faux vetted rendering. A motor in the headset can be used by developers to give direct haptic feedback. This is getting weird. So if you don't know what uh, faux vetted rendering is, as far as I understand, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I will like the comment if you correct me. Um, as as far as I understand, the rendering is like if you're looking at something, that's going to load. And everything behind you is going to not load, essentially. It's going to deload. So, Interesting. So the game can utilize more RAM with what you're looking at. Um, it's the same tech Horizon uses. Do you remember um, the tech they used? I don't remember their term for it. But the way Horizon loads, everything you're looking at is coming into load. So think of like a triangle that mm -hmm. exists for the game that you're looking at. The, mm -hmm. And the camera is you loading the game, essentially. So everything you see is loading around you. So like, essentially, it's like load. Everything behind me is now like a bunch of triangles and garbage. Because it's not like actually loaded. And if I go to turn around and look at it, that is going to initiate the process of the game's like, oh, someone's about to look at it. Load, loads up. Mm -hmm. As far as I understand, that is what that is. Um, very interesting as well that there's going to be a haptic feedback motor inside of the headset. That oh. sounds interesting. Are they going to make it to where I can comfortably wear my glasses when I wear this thing? I assume so, right? Uh, that has to be the amount of times I try to put this on. I'm like, okay, let me let me fix my glasses, and I have this on, and then I have my glasses yeah. pushed to my eyeballs. Yeah, the... yeah, I know, I know exactly. Because if they're making us two thousand, two thousand by twenty forty, that's almost what two K. Like the resolution, yeah, yeah, that I think resolution that's how it works. Is, yeah. the resolution is like, oh, that's crazy. As a reminder, that's per eye achievers per eye. Mm -hmm. so obviously it's 4000 by 2040 but again like it, you're looking at a screen like to your eyes so it's mm -hmm. two different screens that you're looking at to mimic a vr uh, world but That's i'm crazy. alex i'm very excited for this is this something that you think you will buy depending on the price we can, again we've talked about this and i don't really want to talk about it too much but i think it's it's right there where it's like it all the depends more on they, the price. The more they talk about it, the more I get excited about it. And the more I go, it's going to be very expensive. And they say that we don't need the camera. Correct. We don't need the camera. We've known so this. Does, that was that was restated in the in So this it's going to be it's going to be like Oculus to where like you can just like turn around because with Oculus, you can turn around with VR. You can't. I mean, I guess you can, but it's not as better. Like the, the, it'll tell you be like, oh, turn around, you know. I think you're thinking of the wrong one. Are, are you thinking of Vive? I'm sorry, it's Vive. Yeah, because the, the computer one. Yeah, the Oculus Quest Two is mm -hmm. in the Quest series. I know is the ones you just walk around. It's just a VR headset. Yeah, well, I know uh, Oculus, the one before. I'm thinking of the old one, but the, no, the Vive is what I'm thinking of for the oh, PC. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. the weird, the weird one that looks like a bumblebee glass. Yeah, thing, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That and now, now I know exactly you're talking about. The mm -hmm. That's the Vive. Yeah. Yep. Um, I I am the same boat. I really I really am excited for this thing. Depends on the price. But if this thing comes out and it's like it's five hundred dollars, I'll be if, like, it, ooh, look, no, thank if, you. Look, if this thing is more than my system, no, thank you. It's not going to be more than your system. It's not. It, I promise it's, you, it's it, not going to be. More it's going to be more than the system. It is not going to be more than the system. I promise. It's four fifty instead of five hundred. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. I, I guarantee you, achievers, clip this when it's announced. Tweet it at me. It is not going to be more than the system. I think that's an. E I think that's easy to say. The By itself or can... bundles, because it'll be definitely. I mean, they would definitely make a bundle that is more expensive than saying, the system. I'm not saying bundles because because okay. bundles gets weird because like mm. retailers can make bundles. So it's like I don't want to get into that. But I'm mm -hmm. saying 
by itself, it will not be more than this. I think if they probably want to stop at four hundred dollars. It's four fifty. Four fifty. For some reason, people retailers don't like that. I think it's like something four, with. I think really? it's something four, with humans where we like round numbers. I think. So I mean, I, I, think, would, I would. You would think four forty nine. PlayStation always did. They, remember the the Pro was at four forty nine at one point. For like for the longest time, I thought. I don't remember. You're probably right. I don't think it was. Was it? I don't think it was. I, remember, it was I, remember, I specifically remember because I every time I'd walk inside a GameStop, yeah, um, and they'd have those like boxes in the top or whatever, and there's like these big ass stickers, and there's like a bit, and it has the price. I'm like, and I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's, it's just to show the price. And this is like, I remember it's, it's like, you yeah, might be it, right. I'm, it'll say four forty nine or something like that. I have I mean, maybe there's like a I discount a, one. I have a terrible memory so i have no idea I mean, it might be i have no idea yeah no idea. Uh, aside from the point mm. i'm very excited apparently this vr is nuts it's clear mm. that playstation believes in vr and they still want to get this going surprising i'm hoping that we eventually get and i know that they've done this before but i want it like on playstation and i want it easy but like i mm-hmm. want like like why can't i buy like tickets to stuff yet like why can't I like buy a ticket to like a WWE event and like watch yeah, and just games? use my yeah 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 and just use why 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 haven't I been able to use my VR headset right now and be like hey you can now watch old V or like old or like old one or like or whatever old wrestling matches because they had a 360 cam in there or something and you can just watch yeah, it with like your that. VR like mm-hmm. why not like yeah. what I yeah I I can't wait for that concerts strip clubs I mean. I mean the sky's the limit, Alex. <laughs> EA had a financial call. These are always so, so fun. But I'll make it quick. EA, <laughs> Apex Legends has generated over $1 billion lifetime. That's a billion with a B. Season 8 had more than 12 million weekly average players. Uh, quick sidebar. The new season has been huge for their Twitch numbers. And, of course, mm-hmm. Twitch numbers means high player base so most likely this season's even crazier Mm -hmm. um they've had over uh, of course of course over 100 million players lifetime this has been the best apex quarter yet now record 24 hour period um uh, and that's beaten of course over the course of that quarter there's been a 24 hour period for the for the uh week and for the month so it's just saying like oh we beat a lot of records um and I'm not saying, but the performance were, was described as, quote, extraordinary, end quote. It's people are weird <laughs> when they're like on their financial call. It's very mm-hmm. extraordinary <clears throat> process. Like, what did you just say? What? Um, but that's it, Alex. You've been playing Apex. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I love the new the new bow that they added, the bow check. I love that thing. I, I. I very much agree with with this sentiment of what we just read. Like Apex is huge right now, and mm-hmm. I think arenas made it even bigger. Oh, for sure, like, yeah. I, arenas really propelled it even further than it already was, and I think we're getting close to like a not not Fortnite. Like I'm saying, like we're getting close to like a Valorant esque <clears throat> like like. What what's the word I'm looking for? Like Valorant esque platform, like where it's like this huge gaming thing that like people sign up for tournaments and have teams for, especially with arenas. I think they're close oh, to that, I gotcha. but not quite there. I think they're close to that. Well, I thought Apex already had a tournament base. They do, but <clears> I mean, I I'm kind of close to that stuff, and I don't see it very often, and I don't not, really hear it for sure. It's not like Fortnite or Overwatch. Of course not. I'm not like saying e-sports, that at all. But a when it hits esports, that's going to be big. <clears throat> I th- I think eventually it, it will, but it, it doesn't have that like staying power yet. Like with Valorant, mm-hmm. like that's there's always something going. With that. There's always something going with Overwatch. <laughs> there's always a Fortnite thing you can watch. This it's like eh, like it's not re- like not really, you know? Yeah. Uh, very quickly, very quickly, <clears throat> Quick Resume was enhanced it to be even better since last time we recorded. Uh, Quick Resume now features a add to Quick Resume essentially slot, and you can lock things into Quick Resume, and you can also take things out of Quick Resume. Um, and for oh, cool. people who maybe don't use Xbox or don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, <laughs> Quick Resume is the feature on a Series X or Series S 
that basically saves your game onto the actual SSD and holds your place, essentially. So, of course, there are saving games. But if something goes into quick resume, that means the game kind of goes into the background. It kind of settles at the back of your RAM. It's like suspended. And, yeah, it suspends the game for you, Alex did a perfect analogy for you. It essentially suspends your game and you can pick it up at whatever point. I've had as much as four games at once suspended mm-hmm. and I could go and click on any of them. And it's not like click. All right, let's wait a little while. Like it's click one, two, <clears> three, <throat> four in about six, seven seconds, right back to where it was. I, I think it's even quicker than that. It's probably even quicker. It is crazy. Crazy. I've mm-hmm. done it to where I hadn't played dragon quest 11 in probably two months. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let me uh, see where I was. Click it. Quick resume came up and it loaded where that was two months ago. I was like, this is, I'm this skate. This thing is, it's magic. It's magic. Mm -hmm. It's it's magic. Alex, it's magic. (laughs) Alex, what do you think? What do you think of quick resume? No, I know. I love it. It's, um, it depends on the game though, because like sometimes they can like I would like for example when play Mass Effect, yep. and quick resume exactly. I've had I've had I've had to not use it because I like knowing how much time I put into this game and it it it's like with two it's been messing it up. That also I don't know if this has ever happened mm-hmm. to you. Some games get a little buggy. Mm-hmm. Very rarely does this happen. Mm-hmm. Some games do get a little strange when you pick it up for quick resume, mm-hmm. where it'll start jittering it's for like, a second, oh, and it's like, uh, "Oh my god, what did you do to me?" And then it's like, "All right, we're good, we're good, yeah, we're coming back, we're coming back." It's um, like a head to specifically it. online games. If it ever, oh, yeah, if no, it, yeah. it's, it's it still tries it's to get some online games. It and tries. When you go back to them. That game does not like trying to be quick resumed. Oh no, specifically Apex. Apex. Mm-hmm. Specifically Apex. Yeah, no. I make I try, sure every time. I make sure to quit out of that game because if you ever go back, sometimes it has, to, it gets so bad to the point where I have to restart my system and I have to like make apex, like die in a corner. And then I have to like restart it and stuff. Mm-hmm. So annoying. So annoying. A little bit. Um, oh, starting this month, you can approve multiplayer games for your kids by specific titles directly from your console or when using the Xbox family setting. Uh, app on your ios and android it's just for your you know that's something good just in case you have to you know worry about parental controls or you have a game that they don't want play too long or something you go on the app and set it for yourself uh crossfire remedies triple a game project with epic uh game soon is moving into full production um and then the second smaller game is also in full production mode so remedy's pretty busy right now uh, Vanguard is their free to play co op game <clears throat> project. Um, and they have now uh, grilled out like <clears throat> a bunch of this stuff. But, but I just wanted to bring up like Remedies out there making work. I mm-hmm. hope, and I'm assuming Control 2 is one of those games. I hope Maybe. so. I hope so. Maybe. I hope so so much. Alex. Um, Alex, two new uh, DualSense colors. Are hitting shelves very soon. Um, I'm gonna actually bring it up. I forgot to preload it, Alex. So can you tell them the colors while I look them up? So the I believe the two colors are black. midnight black mm-hmm. and what is a crimson cosmic red. Cos- I think is Cos- what it says. Let me see. Yeah, it's right here. Cosmic red. Don't know what's cosmic. up with that. Don't know what's up with that. Why do you got to call it cosmic? It was very interesting. I'm going to bring it up for the achievers. Um, so if you're on YouTube, you can just glance um, right where I'm about to show you. Perfect. Right there. Now, I'm not a like now. I'm not against. I'm not against the red one. Not against it. Not for it. You know, but I'll definitely go black first. I'm going black. I'm going black now. Alex, mm-hmm. are you buying one of these? I definitely want the black one. I definitely but, want the black one as well. Yeah. I definitely want the black yeah. one as well. When I, I can, do, most likely. I do kind of want to get that black one. And I don't know if you... Have you heard of Toasty Stickers? Mm-mm. So they're like a sticker company. Okay. And they make stickers, very, you know, and okay. decals and things like that for your system. They make a classic PlayStation emblem. Oh. And they make them specifically for the middle button. <clears throat> 
Oh, oh interesting. So re- achievers, think about that 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 controller right here, right? The black one. Now picture yeah. the retro PlayStation symbol, the yellow red. The, yeah. You kidding me with that little bit of color in the middle there? Ooh, that looks so nice. They also, I believe, make button inserts. So if you wanted mm-hmm. to, you could take a, you could take the buttons out and and exchange them for uh, more classical colors cuz I don't know. I don't know about you, Alex. Not a big mm-hmm. fan of not not colored uh, buttons. I like the colored buttons. Mm-hmm. Now, it's, I like the X being blue. I like triangle being green. I like square being like that pinkish and the circle being. Yeah, blue. Just, I, I like I like that. I think it would add a little bit of color to the, all the blackness. Yeah, I definitely I definitely agree. I like the colors in the. Uh, in the buttons because they um for example like if you're trying to play with somebody like a family member and they're like i'm like oh yeah press x and they're like which one is that one the you know the the blue one like if we're playing xbox the blue one the blue one and they're like oh okay and then you know they get used to it and they're like mm-hmm. okay that's x yeah instead of having to look down i mean you can just kind of skim and you can see the color real quick mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I agree i i just want that <laughs> little bit of color on there and also they make decals for your actual playstation too you can make your you know the lights? I don't know how they do this. I, uh, oh, but, I don't know how they do they, that one. They make the lights however color you want. So they make rainbow. They make all red. They make cool. like purple. I, I, the RGB, man. Magic. You're a programmer with the RGB. Magic. That's enough with the dual sense, Alex. That's enough. Mm-hmm. That's enough. Mm-hmm. Um, patch 1.08 for Last of Us Part 2 is hitting very soon. Alex, can you actually check the release date? I actually think that that came out. The patch, yes, it's out already. It, it is out. I thought so. Yes, it the is. Patch out. is out. You can now hit a sixty frames per second option on your PS Five, Alex. Awesome. Hmm. This is, of course, great news, especially if you haven't played it yet. You can pick it up on your new PS Five when you find one, and play Last of Us Part Two on its sixty frames. Very cool. Secondary question: We know for sure Last of Us Part Two is being re-released on the PS Five. So hmm. why would they add this option? Very strange, right? Maybe I mean I'm assuming for people that hmm, maybe for people that don't want to rebuy the game, there I mean there are those people, or maybe they add the multiplayer that people keep talking about in the PS5 version, and then they do the 120 thing that everybody does for online. Right, one twenty FPS thing, but maybe the PS five version will be like, oh, the PS five version includes the oh, that mode you were talking about, the online mode, Fra- uh, factions, factions. Yes, the, maybe it'll include that. I, yeah, I could see that for sure. I, I mean, you probably hit the nail on the head there, Alex. We know for sure they're working on factions. Um, mm-hmm. It was essentially leaked, so I could definitely see that they they released the PS five. Last of Us Part Two Edition, mm-hmm. sixty frames per second, four K, blah blah blah. We have even better character models, which I literally I don't understand how that's possible, but, but I'm crazy. sure they'll figure a way. I'm sure they'll figure mm-hmm. out a way. Also, for no extra charge, and this is in quotes, no extra charge. You can get factions uh, multiplayer. Very curious if that does happen. Do they make you pay if you have a PS4 version? Or is there a cheaper way mm. to play? Or if you already have it, it's free. Lots of different ways you can do that. Lots yeah. of different ways. I'll say it again. Alex, this is going to make mm. a lot of people upset. <laughs> Factions is a waste of Naughty Dog's time. Watch watch them. What, uh, you remember uh, that Bioshock online mode? I'm going to be clear right now. All right. You don't want it, okay? You don't. You don't know what's good for you sometimes. You, 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 see, how he, he, you, you see how he ignored that question? Because he knows how trash that was. It was pretty bad. I, I remember for the for the first like week, I was but like, oh my it God, it, it's so good. I was playing it. I was like, this is so good. And after a while, you're like, no, it's not. It sucks. <laughs> but um, but for real, like, you don't know what's good for you. You don't want factions. You, you don't, don't want it. You, you just want more Last of Us. Let you them just in. want Last of Us. <laughs> yeah. You did, you're going to play it for a weekend. You'll be like, thanks, Naughty Dog. Thanks for pushing your new IP we could have played a year before, but now you had to make fact. Like, why? Mm. Why? Why? Waste of time. Why? Why? I, we, Achievers, we still love you. Hey, we can, we, we're we Kingdom Hearts gotten... fans if you want to make fun of us, okay? We could have. What's right? Hey, look now. What's wrong with Kingdom Hearts? Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, if you want to make fun of us, look, hey, you see the glass right houses that's here. All, that's all Kingdom Hearts pups, so some of them. And then they have that big Mickey one right here. Sora's riding on Heartless. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh, you, oh, you don't know what Heartless are? Thank you for asking. <laughs> In that time, thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> that being, said, it's like an hour later in the podcast. I'm like, look at the time. <laughs> mm. Oh, Alex. Yes. Date updates. That's a segment where we talk about some dates that just got updated. Oh, Ubisoft has the. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean. It's just really funny. Ubisoft has delayed Skull and Bones to 2022 and 2023, which yet again marks another delay. Uh, gonna, this, I, look, this, look, look, I'm going to play it on release because it's going to be like No Man's Sky. It's going to be that, 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 that I'm going to be that dedicated person. That, but I'm not dedicated to No Man's Sky, so I'm not saying that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not dedicating myself to this game when it releases to see how shitty it is. But I want to try it. The game has already lost a creative director and has <laughs> lost its manager, studio manager, to a harassment scandal. I mean, you remember what other game that was kept getting delayed? Um, Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> I, just, I, mean, I, just, I just said a game. I think it got delayed one time. Oh, uh, God, no. What game was it? Oh, no, actually, it's still in delay. We've never heard of it again. I don't think it's ever going to come out. Um, uh, Dead, Dead Island 2. No, that game doesn't exist. No, yeah. I think I think someone's working on it, but I yeah, think no. I think I, w- if we remember, ever see that game, it's eh, who cares. Remember, Dying Light Two got delayed indefinitely. I'm very, I would love to go. I would I would love to fly out to their studio and ask questions and see what's going on. I would love to. Dude, I know I mean, they can't. I, I, was, yeah. I know they can't. But I would love. I would pay for the ticket. Mm-hmm. I would love to I'd say, buy everyone I, dinner. I'm excited for this one. It would like, be Vienna sausages because that's all I could afford. But I'd buy them all for, dinner. Back for Blood got a got a release date. Alex, you th- mm-hmm. throw that into the date updates, please. While you do that, EA Play Live coming back July twenty second. Uh, so they were very clear that they will not be at E3, but they are making their EA Play Live just like normal. It is coming July twenty second. Very interesting. Um, off the top of my head, can't think of too many EA things I'd be too excited for, aside from Dragon Age 4. And I want to see the game, not not like a CG trailer. And that's exactly what we're going to get. So that's going to suck. But mm-hmm. I would like to see the actual game. And I would like to get a release date. Neither of those are going to happen. We're not seeing yeah. gameplay probably, and we're not going to get anything of sufficient. And Mass Effect 4 is like a fart in the wind. That thing that thing is not coming anytime soon. So we can't get too Give excited. Me it now. We can't get too excited. Skate 4 is another thing where it's like, we still don't know what's going on with that game. We I'm just still... heard that they're making the game. We haven't even seen a title. Yeah, I think, yeah. I don't, yeah. Just, all they said was like, yeah, we're working on it. That's it. That's it. Who's working on the game? It's the original people with the, like, the, 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 the What's the studio? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm looking up right e- now. EA? Oh. Um, uh, so EA announced it made a new studio full circle to handle development on the next state game. A Canadian full studio. Circle, like a wheel? Like a little skate and it's going to be a little skateboard wheel? So it's funny that they call it full circle, meaning like you've come around to where you began, which is kind of mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Full circle, literally like full circle. Like you've come. No, I get it. Skate I, get to it. Go there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I kept it. it was for the achievers, really. But mm-hmm. uh, The studio is being headed by former Xbox Live general manager Daniel McClooch with creative leadership by Darren Chun and Chris Cuz Perry, mm-hmm. both of who were part of Black Box. In the A subsidiary in the studio behind the original skate games. Yep, the original that, skate games. That was shut down in 2013. Mm-hmm. Glad to know they're not upset about that. Because yep. I would be, because I'm petty. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto V will launch on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X on November 11th. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto V. No. Eh. Come on. It's, Come on. That's a no, Alex, November. That's <sighs> that's, uh, that's going to be a busy time. That's true. There'll be other new games. I mean, also, big... don't mean to be a dick. It's not that good of a game. <laughs> I said it. I mean, right? It's oh, not that good of a game. It's, I mean, everybody plays the online, so it's not that good. Of a game. It's just not. This is not. It's fine. But it's, it's the fine. most. Well, see, but but that's almost like to its advantage 
because it's mm-hmm. like so accessible to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five is like the second best game ever sold, I think, or something like that. Like, I think it's What's, it sold over a yeah. hundred million units. So like, it's it's like, nuts. It sold more than like some systems. Like like think. They, about that. Like it's sold more than its subsystems. Like it's just like this game doesn't stop selling. Yeah, like this that game, game is always will, selling. This game, and it's crazy because it's it, it it's still full price. It's no, it's not. It's thirty bucks. Oh, they they finally come down. I mean, they, they'll take it back up. I bet. No, no, it's been thirty bucks for a while. Oh, has it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's been there for a while. Now you bet your ass it's sixty bucks when this thing comes out. So I mean, oh yeah, so, uh, I would that one at seventy. There's rumor. Oh. Ooh. there's rumors that, for the next gen one. Oh god i would love that just just it's, hear everyone it'll happen it, oh it'll happen hear everyone angrily opening their wallets like i'm not happy about this <laughs> but still paying for it like mm-hmm. um uh but yeah yeah uh, grand theft auto 5 launching um november 11th ps5 Oh, um, Back for Blood is it was supposed to be a June twenty second release, but now it got it's delayed October, to October. October October twelfth. Yeah, yeah. You sent me something on Twitter. I did not add it to the docket. Was it something important to tell the achievers? They announced characters and zombies. Yeah, so they showed so they showed the main like you know how in Left for Dead they had like the four main people and they tell you who they were. Right. These there's like six characters in this one mm. and they tell you their background like, so like who so they it. like who they are and what they are and then, then like a couple of the of the people of the people that you're gonna fight so it's it's interesting it's pretty Got cool it. so if you're if you're really into it look those up mm-hmm. look those up apparently alex really liked them so check them out mm-hmm. i'm waiting for uh around this summertime i'm waiting for aliens fire team though alex that's the news for the week mm-hmm that was good. We had a good episode. I very much enjoyed all those news, getting your thoughts and comments. Hopefully, we get some Achievers' thoughts and comments below. Or on yes. Patreon, on our, on our wall. Now, we like to settle down at the end of the episode. We like to relax, go into the weekend a little bit more relaxed than we came in. And I also like starting the show and starting the end of it the same way. By asking Alex a question. Alex! Hmm. Did you see the Twitch hot tub stuff? What is up with this? So, a long story short, okay. this does pertain to video games, so I do think it's yeah, worthy no, to bring sure. on the show. I mean, it's on Twitch. Twitch is a huge platform owned by Amazon. If you don't know what Amazon is, you're a liar. Amazon, of course, behind all of the things that ships to your house. If you buy something, most likely it's being shipped to you by Amazon. Alex. Mm. essentially what these fine people on Twitch did mm-hmm. uh, is what we call loophole. So in the terms of service that you sign when you go to stream on YouTube, uh, on Twitch, I apologize, mm-hmm. on Twitch, you agree not to be scantily clad or um, uh, wear, th- I think, the, uh, I think uh, in context uh appropriate clothing i think is the like around the legal term is what they use for what you should be wearing clothes wise okay now some brave young ladies decided all right i'm not technically breaking the rules if i stream in a tub with nothing but a bikini on right that's (laughs) completely true and they abused that to the nth degree they got on hot tubs beaches uh Little fun inflatable pools, pools. Yeah. You know, little pools. I mean, and they just sat there and chatted with people in barely any clothing. They didn't break Pretty. any rules. Mm-hmm. The one that got uh, the most popularity on with, sorry if I it's butchered the an, name. It starts with an A. It's like Amor- Amaranthin? Amaranth? Amaranth? Yeah, this is definitely her. Amaranth, yeah. She is the one that like got all in, on the Kotaku headline and IGN and all that. Like She was the big one. That was behind it. And I, I think I think you pronounce it Amaranth. And uh, I'm good with names. Let's and see. A pin, so this this caused scuttlebutt into the Twitch uh, ecosystem, I guess you call it, where all the head, you know all the streamers were giving their thoughts on it. Like, is it should it be allowed? Should people be able to get you know essentially half naked and stream on Twitch? 
Mm-hmm. A lot of people got upset. Some people didn't agree with it. Some people did. Some people tried to give nuanced opinions, but of course was bundled down into a few sentences into a uh, article. And, you know, of course sounds worse than it actually came off. Regardless of any of that, they did uh, say that. So we're going to get into two very interesting things. I'm very curious if, if this gets walked back. Amaranth got her ads mm-hmm. pulled yesterday. So out of nowhere, Amaranth now makes no money on ads. So that essentially makes that essentially means you make now no money off of Twitch aside from being donated to. So you will now make no uh, money off Twitch ads. Mm-hmm. That's that's by the way, uh, approximated by Metro.com as almost three three hundred and forty thousand dollars a year. So hey, that's that, something. That's the amount of money <clears throat> we're dealing with here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> So they so again, remember the timeline of events. Yesterday, Amaranthin wakes up, sees that all of her stuff is gone. She's now not making money off Twitch ads. <clears throat> Fast forward to today, Twitch comes out and says it is okay for people to stream in hot tubs and bathtubs and using the specific language, we should not punish you for being hot, is literally what they said. <laughs> Or is it is a hot or a sexy? I think that's what the word they, they I think they use the word they sexy. Use, they use the word sexy. Thank you so much. So very interesting here. They not only made categories for this, they mm-hmm. now there's categories for pools and tubs. They pulled the Twitch ads from Amaranth. And now they're saying it's okay to do it. So are, which yeah. is it? Which so is are they it? gonna give it back to her? Like are you gonna what, let the ads uh, Hell no, they're not. They wouldn't have pulled. They would not have pulled it if this was happening. So they're pull- they're keeping it from her. Someone probably looked at her and went, "We're not pulling ads on this because we don't want." I don't know if you heard of this, Alex, or the listeners heard of this. It was called Ad Apocalypse. You heard about that? Mm-mm. So about two or three years ago on YouTube, I don't want. I I I don't like being political on the show, so I want to keep the sides as straightforward as possible. Okay. It's our show. Just do it. <sighs> That's true. That is our show. One side said one side of the, uh, side of advertisement. <clears throat> someone brings up. Why are our ads coming up on? Uh, very, uh, non appropriate videos. Things like, I've only heard these through context. I don't even know if they're actually on YouTube, but things like, you know, death videos, they were, you know, a bunch of other uncaged things. Things were like they're rec- apparently recruiting people to certain things. Mm-hmm. Very fucked up things, essentially. Mm-hmm. And they essentially were like, why are our ads popping up here? Hmm. They, people like P- Pepsi and Coca-Cola started pulling ads saying, you need to fix out your thing. We don't want to be tied to some messed up kid talking about some weird stuff on mm-hmm. YouTube and an ad for Coca-Cola comes up next to him. So we're definitely not doing that. So essentially YouTube had to very quickly ring in everybody and said, look, you now do not get any ads <clears throat> unless you are like vetted. Essentially you have to be like part of their, I think partner program now, I think to get monetized, which is like mm-hmm. how it works now. I believe you have to get like certain hours and stuff. It's a, it's a bunch of other stuff, but they had to essentially ring back ads. You only get ads for certain things. And I think they have like a new algorithm that auto demonetizes. I hate using this word, but problematic videos, whatever that means. And automatically demonetize. And that, that is a, a crazy thing that I had to get into to describe to you. The reason that they were being so careful here is because they do not want what happened to YouTube happening to them. Mm-hmm. That being said. It's kind of shitty of Twitch to do that. Mm-hmm. You cannot do have it both ways. You cannot have, have your cake and eat it too, Twitch. Either you let it happen, or, or you, you let all the money walk out the door and have OnlyFans have all the have all the streams. Oh yeah, make a choice. Mm-hmm. Amaranth, first off, good job. All right, you figured it out. All right, I, no one else did it, and you figured it out. You're making it. You were probably making a sh- ton of money off that. So I respect mm-hmm. you. I expect you, Amaran. <coughs> Alex. Mm. What do you have plans for the weekend? Hmm. I got Mass Effect. Okay. 
I'm going to finish three probably in like probably by the end of this weekend. I'll probably finish it. Okay. And there's nothing out coming out. So I'll probably play a little bit more Apex because I've been playing ranked. I think this, this season for the first time, I'm trying to get to Diamond for all you Apex players. I'm like gold already, so it's hard. Yeah, no, you're getting to the yeah, A plus. I'm getting player. to yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy because mm-hmm. I watch I watch a lot I watch people and I'm like trying to see what they do and I'm like oof, I'm not that good. Yeah, you're like ooh, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's this there's this uh, one dude I watch. His name is Rogue, but his thing is called Twitch Rogue. He is nuts with the Kraber. Like he he'll be like no scoping or quit scoping people with the Kraber. Like it, it's just it's it's nuts. Like, but it it's fun. Um, I want to go back to Destiny with you. I just I'm so in Mass Effect right now. I'm like that's all I'm playing. Yeah, I I was originally gonna try and do um, uh, <clears throat> Bolt of Glass launch day. Mm-hmm. Uh, something came up, so now I can't unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now I have to do it some other time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was gonna play that, but now it's just gonna be Mass Effect time. Until, yeah. So, uh, until until that. Yeah. Since it's the weekend, I might play a little something with my uh, with my wife. Um, I want to try. It takes two, and me, I me also want to try a uh, knockout city. Uh, on the dot, like once I'm not done doing anything. I do too, and on the other side, I don't. You know, that seems like a game that I would like to watch, but I probably when I play it, I'm like I probably yeah. suck at it or something. It's it like I said like I said before. I feel like it's a drive by game. Like I'll try it and then I'll and then I'll stop. Drive by like, game. Yeah. Yeah. Drive by pick it up that was fun and you, yeah and you leave yep alex mm. thank you so much for joining me this week this, this is a great episode thank you so much for listening of course achievers this is a great episode remember you give us a like comment subscribe share with a friend if you have an idea for the show either leave it below right down here or I hate this show. patreon.com slash achievers give us a dollar you can contact us directly i answer every single dm I get, and I'll talk directly to you, Alex. I I, I gotta I do too, but I just have to tell my wife that it's it's not my secret girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this specific person is not. Maybe later you yeah, guys talking yeah. to them, but not right now. Yeah. It's not right now. It's not. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go play Mass Effect. Yes, we are. And I'm gonna beat it. And you're gonna beat it. And I'm gonna stay up until you beat it. Oh Jesus, my eyes are gonna bleed. Do you remember? We like pregnant pauses here. Go with I, I really thought you froze. I'm like, oh my god, it messed up. <laughs> ah, I got you. Got to get that pause in the show. You got to. You got to. You know. I hate them. You know they looked at the the thing and were like, oh, did my AirPods pause Save the video? The, the AirPods pause the video. Let me look. It didn't. <laughs> I got you, you fucking idiots. <laughs> You. You, you just broke everybody's dream. <laughs> Love you.